why the narcissist will always hate you. The better you perform in life, the more the narcissist will hate you. Especially when you reach a point when most people would give up. It will only make them hate you even more. But there is actually a fine line between love and hate. Their emotions of love and hatred can be closely linked. So you may find that they have a love-hate relationship with you. And this has been scientifically proven. Because the same brain circuitry is involved in both extreme emotions. Some of the nervous circuits in the brain responsible for hate are the same as those that are used during the feeling of romantic love. So they're actually your biggest fan, but they can't bear to admit it to themselves, which is why they're so obsessed with you, and it's why they can't stop hating you, because they can't stand that you are better than them in every possible way. So they try to make you feel bad all day, every day. But many of you may not catch on to it. You may not realize why the narcissist is hating you. In some situations, it may even be a person who hasn't even met you, but they've already engaged in passive aggressive behavior towards you. So they've made it obvious that they don't like you because they're already aware that you are a good person. You're an empath, so they know that you will look for flaws in yourself. They know that you will assume there must be something wrong with you, because that's what empaths do. They try to be better by seeing things from the other person's perspective, because they're experiencing cognitive dissonance. So they want to make sense of this hate which is not wanted or needed. And when you do that, you may assume that you deserve to be hated and you may give up on your dreams or the hate may motivate you. It may drive you to become better. But when someone is hating on you, you need to recognize that something is wrong with them it's not you. They're just projecting their flaws onto you. Because they're too afraid to admit that they have flaws. Which is why they will accuse you. They will lay the blame on you. They will claim that you have done something wrong. And they will hold you responsible for everything. Because they're too insecure to see you succeed in life. So they will do everything in their power to bring you down. To help them to move away from the pain of feeling insecure. And this could be a relationship partner, a family member or friend. It could even be a boss or co-worker. And in fact, it will typically be the people closest to you who show the most hate to you because they can't stand to see you succeed or chase your dreams because we're influenced most by the people we're closest to so the last thing they want to see is you succeeding where they have failed it will affect them far more than if they were to see that from a complete stranger if they saw someone else do it they wouldn't even care they wouldn't give it any attention.
but because it's you, it will eat away at them. And you will find that you become isolated from them. Although people might expect that it would bring you closer to them, but it won't because they're very insecure. And you have succeeded where they failed, which is reflecting something back to them. It's shining a spotlight on their insecurities and deficiencies. And feeling insecure or deficient in something isn't always a bad thing. It can motivate you to work hard towards something. Or if it's something you can't change, it could be something you choose to accept. But narcissists don't want to work on themselves. Or they feel that it's not only something they can't change, but it's also something they can't accept about themselves. So instead they choose to hit on you. They're like zombies. They're unaware of their own thoughts and actions. They don't even know why they're doing it. Because they lack self-awareness. But it's because they fail to do something meaningful with their lives. They have nothing to feel proud of. They have nothing special that they've accomplished. And yet they see you moving on and doing something with your life. So they try to bring you down in an attempt to move away from the pain of not doing anything with their lives because they see that you're happier and more successful than them. They have very low self-esteem so they get jealous of other people very easily and if you're around them long enough they may eventually bring you down with them where you're questioning yourself and you're becoming insecure and you start to look at life in the way that they do because these defeatist pessimistic types of people can only bring you down they can't compliment or boost your confidence in yourself because they're not confident in themselves they're very insecure they feel inferior to you so the last thing they want is for you to feel good about yourself because that's just going to make them feel worse. But they're still making a conscious and deliberate choice. They may feel inferior to you, and that may be something they can't control. But they choose to hate. That is a conscious and deliberate choice. Because there is an alternative. They do have another option. And that would be to use your success as motivation to fulfill their own dreams. But instead, they choose to hate. And they hate because they want to be you. Or they want what you have. They're your biggest fan but they will never tell you that. They will never admit it. They will play their role as though something is wrong with you. But deep down they know the truth. You're a better person than them and they know it. They can't stand it. Which is why they will continue to hate until the day they die. Instead of choosing to do something meaningful with their lives. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.